So mm -hmm. this measures sugar content. So you flip the lid, you put some leaves and some stem in there, you squeeze a couple drops, you close it, you look at the light, the light separates and, and bends through the prism of glass yeah. and gives you a number. It does. Okay. When we're looking at this, what three elements are we primarily focused on, i.e. sugar? Sugar is the big one, yeah. Which is comprised of? Carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Okay. Okay. Which is photosynthesis. Yeah, that's correct. That is the end product of photosynthesis. Which now goes back to taking a look at your compost or your mulch or your composted manure. We, you should have as high of carbon to nitrogen ratio as you possibly can. If they don't give you a carbon to nitrogen ratio, please ask. If they're not proud of that number, they may not want to show it to you. In the soil, the goal is a minimum of a 16 to 1 before the microbial activity begins and, and life starts to come back. You will have uh, some serious jump in activity at that point when you go to 16 to 1. Yes. It's still not great, though, 16 it's to 1. It's just the beginning. It is, it is the beginning, but it's a very good beginning. As a matter of fact, it's so good because it's so considerably better than some of the CN ratios that we have out there right now that it seems like you may have struck payday. When in fact, you've just opened them up and they're now just beginning to party.